And the first show, I didn't, I told everybody, come to the show, come to the show, my family, my friends, come to the show. <laughs> At the end of the show, I'm like, I wish they never came. <laughs> so the second show, I didn't tell anyone. And then went, this is pretty funny. So what happened is uh, uh, the TV station interviewed me. So I'm, I'm talking, and I'm like, oh my god, I really want the show. I come home, and my mom's like, how come you didn't tell me? And I told you what? I just saw you on TV. <laughs> cookies yet. <laughs> so, right after that, I joined the military. I, was, uh, I served in Desert Storm. Yeah, that was 20-something years ago, right? I said I only played seven years in the audience, right? <laughs> um, the first two years were very hard because uh, eating in the military is very tough. Um, and you run all the time. I felt like Forrest Gump. <laughs> and then I got shot in the ass, so it was like complete. <laughs> so one day uh, my officer said, call me, hey, Chippendale, come here. <laughs> Chippendale, I'm like, what's that? Like, you, don't you know? I'm like, no, not really. I'm like, is that a show? He's like, yeah. I'm like, okay, I'm doing another show. <laughs> So, because he was so into working out and stuff, I got permission to leave the camp and uh, to start exercising and training and uh, actually work with the cooks and the chef to cook my food that I needed. Because by now I already know what's better choices or what I need to do to win the next show. And I sure did. Because I didn't want to be like the first show. <laughs> Uh, finish, finished the military, I served in the military four years. I um, went right to school, a uh, big mistake. But actually, you know, you learn, you learn that the only thing that you learn in life is from your mistakes. I've never learned anything from my successes, I only learned from my mistakes. And that's one thing, you uh, when uh, one of the interviews, the producer asked me, so why do you think you're the guy for the job? And I said, because I screw up so many times. <laughs> <laughs> and I know what not to do. So really my purpose is to teach people how to do things right. And the foundation of everything that Body Beast is all about is about safety, form, and have fun. Because lifting weights like Carl said can be really boring. <laughs> um, and then, and then from there, after about a year and a half in college back home, I uh, came here on a short trip, and I'm like, yep, yeah, that's where I need to be. But to stay here, I uh, needed to stay here on a long visa. So I came, uh, I came to University of Central Florida, and the first semester my mom came to visit me she, because she couldn't believe that I'm really going to school. Um, and from there, just my, uh, my whole journey in uh, bodybuilding and uh, educating and teaching and uh, how to lift other people besides lifting yourself. Because when it's about you, when you can't share it with no one, you just do things for yourself. You really cannot tell anyone else what to do because when you give someone advice and you don't live it, when you try to fix someone, you can't fix them. Unless you are changing yourself, you're doing the hard work, you, you, you give it all you got, you speak from the heart, you see the changes, your beliefs is someone else's hope. And that's what Beachbody is all about. You guys are the coaches that in the front lines, you guys that are making the changes when you have, and that's one thing in Summit that I was so impressed. It's the 5,000 people and the quality of the people and the happiness to be there. Talking to so many people and it was never about money. It was about how my relationship got better, how my, uh, I'm a better husband, I'm a better wife. Now I can put my kids in the right school that I always wanted. Um, just how we how becoming a better person. That's what I got from Summit, really.
is um, something so special that you just don't see it anywhere else. Um, I did tons of magazine covers because, like everything else, you think you want a nice car, you think you want a nice house, you think you want everything to be perfect, and a lot of times in life, it doesn't look like you want to. That picture perfect that you see in the mall when you walk in and you see the picture frame with the husband and wife looking so happy, smiling. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I want. And then it doesn't look like it, and you get disappointed. So my, my saying always is, take your expectation and change your expectations with appreciations. Always trying to find the gift of what you get. And something I want to share, is, is it okay to share that? Okay. I, sure one, one, night, <laughs> one night we had a, I had a conversation on Facebook from, I think it was a full moon. <laughs> and uh, Sherry posted something on Facebook and I wrote something back and I, I, it was, I was really touched by what she wrote. And I said, sister, yeah. you gotta change the story. It's not what happened to you, it's what happened for you. That's right. And that's the only way that you would recognize the gift because we all have things in our way. We all have things that we think that my pain is the worst. Um, you don't understand. Uh, my boss is the meanest boss. <clears throat> and uh, everybody at work, I can't stand it. You don't know. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> so, what I know that pain is pain. And if you want to change it, only you can change it because you created it. If you want love, give love. If you want someone to be better, be better yourself. And um, being on all these magazine covers, I've never, I can say never, and it's been... I did lots of magazine covers <laughs> because my ego was so big that I wanted to get bigger. But what I was really missing is, is the joy of really what those magazines was the purpose of. And for the longest time I thought I had a purpose, but then I realized it was just my ego talking until I found what really my purpose in my life is and what I'm really passionate about. And when you get your, pur your purpose lined up with your passion, money and everything else will come with it. You don't have to chase it. It will come to you. Um, really, what I see in each one of you is, is we, all, we all have the same mission. We all have the same purpose. Um, and when I talk to each, each one of you, uh, each coach, I can feel the passion, the drive. Um, it could be someone that's doing Tour of Fire, it could be